Hey y'all, Erin here. I'm so excited this is my third annual Christmas book video because you know what, I love Christmas and I love books and I love talking and sharing about my favorite books with you guys. You know, when you just love something, you want others to know about it too. So if you're new here, I am Erin. I'm a homeschool mama to three little ones. I have a seven-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old. So my books are kind of gonna be based on those ages. You can go plus or minus a little bit for your own family if you need to. So I was thinking about how can I just change this up a little bit? Usually I do what books we get that particular year and our favorites. This year, I was thinking a lot of people like to do Advent traditions, countdowns to Christmas. So I thought I would share my favorite 25 books. That way, if you wanted to do a book a day with your little ones for Christmas time, you'd have a lot to choose from. So starting out, I love this nativity book because it has been around for quite a while now and it has stood the test of time as a favorite for our family. Just the touchy-feely stuff and it goes so perfectly with our Fisher Price nativity scene. So this is always a hit in our home. The next book I wanted to talk about is The Pine Tree Parable. There are four books in this series and I love it because there's such a good stories with Christian values in it and good messages of family. The next book I wanna talk about is Humphrey's First Christmas. Humphrey is so cute, isn't he? And he is just a very, um, starts out as very a very selfish camel, but he ends up um, learning about the story and the message of Christmas time and it's beautiful to see his transformation. I have two chapter books and I'm going to talk about them together. Now I added two chapter books because you could essentially read both of these in this Christmas season. I did this one with Timothy when he was in kindergarten and so you do about a chapter a day and you can read it within you know almost I would say three to five days if you're you know staying on on course. But this is The Family Under the Bridge and it is a beautiful story of um, helping others and also family. The next one, uh, the second chapter book is The Best Christmas Pageant Ever. And um, I even shed a little tear because the, you, the, the main point of this book is what if this is the first time you've ever heard the Christmas story and that's what the main characters are going through in this book. Now I also wanted to share that they have a movie that you could watch on YouTube from the story and it is very cute to watch as well. We watched it right after we finished this book. It was very good. The next one I want to talk about is The Legend of the Candy Cane and it is a beautiful story. I definitely recommend this because um, you see these candy canes everywhere, but it has a great meaning behind it. The Christmas Tapestry is a new book for us this year. And um, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I just love Patricia Palacco. One of her um, gifts is storytelling and uh, sharing stories for a long time. So this was definitely a winner. Classic Patricia Placa book is a Orange for Frankie. Um, it takes you back to simpler times when getting an orange for Christmas was such a special gift. So I love this one. I have a couple board books I'm gonna talk about. This is the Christmas Baby, very cute. Room for a little one. So again, we have the two, four, and seven. Um, it's a, you can never start talking about early enough. This is a great message. Good Night Manger. It's a cute rhyming story about the manger scene. This is Song of the Stars. Beautiful story, rhyming. A Tale of Three Trees. You could read this at Christmas, Easter, and you know what? You could probably read it anytime because it talks about um, three big important times in uh, Jesus' story, his birth, um, something that happened during his life, and then Easter. So this is a really special one. I love this one. This is called The Night Tree. And in this book, this family has a tradition of decorating a tree in the forest with popcorn and berries and bird seed. And I love it because where we currently live, 
We have this beautiful array of birds in our yard. We have cardinals that are coming constantly, blue jays, uh, wrens, and finches, and we've even seen a hawk recently. My husband's heard of woodpeckers, so a, a whole bunch of birds. And I love that they um, do this special thing to feed the birds. So we have a bird feeder and we've been enjoying um, feeding our birds this winter season. The next one I want to talk about is called Snowman at Christmas. And um, I love this one because at the very end, I happen to read um, a message that it says, go back, there is five images on each painting and see if you can find them. Now we did not see them at all the first time, first couple times we read the story. And when I saw that message, um, my seven-year-old and I went back and we studied each page and it was amazing how the artists put these images on each painting. So it was a lot of fun. I would recommend this one just because it was fun to read and it was fun to look for the hidden images. Um, the next one I want to talk about is The Legend of St. Nicholas. And there's lots of different ways that people um, have celebrated Christmas through time. And this one kind of talks about a um, tradition of how giving might have begun for some places and some people. The Nutcracker, because it's a classic, and one day I would love to take my kids to see the Nutcracker Ballet. Um, not this year, of course, we didn't make it, but one day I would love to take them. I think that would be amazing. A Mouse's Christmas Gift. This is a cute story of a little mouse who lives in a church, and he helps the church um, end up celebrating. It was very sweet, cute story for Christmas time. Love it. The Sweet Smell of Christmas. Now this is, has to be on mine because this was out of my childhood, my favorite Christmas book, and it's just very nostalgic for me. So The Sweet Smell of Christmas. Holly and Ivy. So we finally uh, read the whole thing this year. It, it is a little bit of a longer book, but it is a beautiful message. Um, and it's actually an adoption story if you didn't know that. but. Um, a story about wishing, and it was a very uh, beautiful Christmas story that we enjoyed for the first time this year. The next one is Happy Birthday Jesus. Um, my husband, he loves this one because uh, we like to celebrate Jesus' birthday, and so usually we do a cake or something. This year we did little pots of creme brulees, and so that was really fun. Uh, we like to talk about, we celebrate Christmas because it's Jesus' birthday and we make it a big celebration. That's why we do gifts and stuff like that. The next one is Mr. Willoughby's Christmas tree. This is a new one for us this year. And it's a great story of how one tree ended up being uh, used and, and celebrated by many different people and animals. Very cute story. We enjoyed this a lot this year. Little Blue's Little Blue Truck's Christmas. So I got this for Titus for last year, and they really enjoy it. The biggest reason why is because on the last page, the tree lights up, and it's so fun. So the kids really enjoy this one. This one is Mistletoe. I like this one because it is a sweet book about friendship. Um, seeing Mistletoe's a cute little mouse and she does something really sweet for her friend who's an elephant and that they get to um, enjoy the snow together. And then um, last, but of course not least, is God Gave Us Christmas. I love this story because it's a beautiful conversation between a, a, a parent and their child about what the meaning of Christmas is. So. That is my 25 books for Christmas. I hope this gave you some good ideas. And if you have some books that you think I missed that I need to add to my 25 uh, books of Christmas, let me know down below. I went through all of my books. We have definitely more than 25 books, but I thought I would choose the ones that were my favorites and that were most meaningful to me at Christmas time. And I think I'm gonna have my kiddos hop on and share what their favorite Christmas books this year was too. Hi, I'm Evie, and I'm going to show you my top five favorite fun books. First is Will Mr. Willoughby's First Christmas, Dan Cotteray's First Christmas, 
Polly and Ivy, Mistletoe, and Mouse. Mouse, Chris, Mouse's first Christmas. These are my favorite five books. Mistletoe made a jacket for uh, her elephant friend to go outside. At first she was like, ooh, maybe I should not go out there. But she made a coat for him, so he went outside. Hi, this is my favorite book. And I love this book. And my three favorite books from this year's Christmas. The first one is the worst best Christmas pageant ever. I liked it because um, it, at first when I got it, I didn't think I would like it, but at the very end, I loved it. It was a great book, and it was a silly, and it had great parts. Now, I'd like, um, Holly and Ivy because they um, they wish for each other and they got each other and that's I really like this book because they really wanted to be friends and they did and this one is the Christmas farm and I like this one because um, somebody was growing Christmas trees for other people so they could have Christmas trees for Christmas. So these are my three favorite books of this year's Christmas. My favorite Christmas book is The Dynasty by some guy named Jeff Benedict. No, not really, just kidding. My favorite Christmas book this year is this book called Snowman at Night. It's a fun book. Uh, at first, you're like, what, snowman at night? What could be so fun about it? But it's about what do the snowmen do at night? They uh, play games, they have snowball fights, they ice skate, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, very delightful, magical tale that solves the mystery of what snowmen uh, actually do at night um, and why they sometimes melt. So, great book. Mistletoe puts on her hat, scarf, coat, and mittens and sets off on her walk. Home. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hope you got some good ideas.